My name is Trapsy, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. It's time to play the, 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 the silent. <clears throat> we have 15 levels of ascension applied. Not all of the intros can be winners, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> hmm. None of those are amazing. I'm going to go for the random boss relic. I'm the saddest man! Gremlin Horn was an amazing pickup. Pair's really good. Art of War is also a card. Uh, I need to remove Pain, Doubt, and Nomad. I need to remove all of those. Well, that's Garbo Terrible Horrible. I also probably shouldn't fight any elites this floor. Because if I fight any of those elites, I'm going to die to those elites. Haha! <laughs> yeah! Uh, I think this run might actually just be a straight-up mulligan. Um, because we got boned extremely hardcore. And not the kind that you'd like to see uploaded online. Let's go with the double... Ugh. So much damage and I can't stop it happening! No! No! I have trans... I don't even have enough damage to stop you from doing another hit here. Well, this is something. You know what? We need to get through the fights as quickly as possible. I'm taking a backstab. Let's remove from my deck. The first one we're going to go with is Pain. Remove all curses from my deck. Beautiful. Did we just... Did this just become an amazing run? The answer is no, by the way. Still no. Gremlin Horn is a great pickup, and we did just nuke two curses, three curses rather, four curses in a row, in fact, out of our deck. Um, I don't know, maybe this did just become an amazing run. We started with Gremlin Horn, Pear, and also the Art of War has come along for the ride. Uh, I am going to need to find an opportunity to heal up in order to make this better on myself. I think I take a slice. Still kind of want to dodge elites this floor. All right, I'll take one rest and then I need to do upgrades afterwards. Um, yeah, so this run started in a weird way. Uh, it also would have been nice if we just suddenly happened to stumble across a Duvu doll or Blue Candle. In fact, if we got Duvu doll and Blue Candle as two of our relics from the Calling Bell, that would have been incredible. Here I'll take a Noxious Fumes just because it's the highest value card available there. So these events are now unfavorable. So this is losing me 5 HP for a 25% chance to find a relic rather than losing 3 for the first one. But Tingsha is incredible. Whenever you discard a card during your turn, deal three damage to a random enemy for each card discarded. So, Old Coin also is a pickup for gain 300 gold. Uh, the Art of War is if you do not play any attacks during your turn, gain an extra energy next turn. Pair is raise your max HP by 10. And Gremlin Horn is whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and a card. So, Frozen Eye, when viewing your draw pile, the cards are now shown in order. So, we have an amazing set of relics here. I think I'm actually going to cut in so I can go to that shop. These enemies are rough. In fact, I'm actually going to use my explosive potion here. It does 40 damage, so you can see why I would do it. I forgot about the fact that I have the Gremlin Horn, so that was all going to be relatively easy anyhow. I think I take Predator here. It's just a nice big nuke. Speaking of nice big nuke, we should probably upgrade Noxious Fumes, which is the opposite of all of the things that I just said. There's a blue candle, but we already have... We've removed all of the curses from my deck already. 
I think we take like Noxious Fumes Glass Knife. I'm just going to remove a strike from my deck. This is a weird run and I love it. Ugh. Well, got a waste of Predator there. Damn, taking a lot more damage here than I'd like. Who's my boss on this floor? All right, we can actually probably get through that boss without uh, much difficulty. We just need another defensive card for this deck. Probably not Outmaneuver. Could be, though. Actually, Outmaneuver is a good pick. Which means I probably ought to rest here. Just because we are going to take some damage in this fight. Ooh, that's really, really not good for an opening hand. Because you either want all of your attack in your opening hand or all of your defense in your second hand. And we missed both of those. Thankfully, we just had enough to prevent that 32 damage nuke. Okay. Defend, defend, defend. Now that I've got five poison a turn going on the enemy, I just need to defend myself while they die. Beautiful. So I'm not going to perfect this boss, but we're going to get damn close. Beautiful. I mean, we've already taken damage, but we, we're going to be quite close to safe. Bends, outmaneuver, will neutralize because it actually prevents four damage but only deals three back to me. I mean, this is a prepared hand, so we've got no reason to do anything except for fully attack there. Uh, this is Predator. And then we just wait two turns and the enemy's dead. Beautiful. All right, well, that was... um, That's a... That's certainly a first floor. The amount of my comments that tell me consistently that, God damn it, you're so freaking lucky, I can't believe it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you are 100% correct. I am a real luck sack. Uh, here I think I take Storm of Steel because it deals three damage for every card discarded as well. Transforming all of my strikes and stuff. I don't know if I can do that right now. But you know what? Luck worked out for us before. Let's go. Okay, we've got one discard. We've got one defense. That's really rough. We're going to need to pick up almost exclusively defensive cards following this. And we've got an eviscerate that really isn't activated yet. Ouch. Okay, I'm trying to find a reasonable... Oh, that's, that's, that's a reasonable buff. It's got an early shot for us as well. I'd love to backstab right now, but there's no reason to. It won't even get through the armor. I'm going to take one damage this turn. But all things considered, with as few defensive cards as we have in our deck, only taking one damage is kind of insane. I could go with the Eviscerate, but it's very expensive for what it's doing. Really hoping to draw... Nope. My hope there was to draw one of my defensive cards. I just need defensive cards. God damn it. 
Funnily enough, this, this is actually the reason that I pointed out when I was talking about why I'm not a huge fan of using uh, Tran uh, Pandora's box because I desperately need a reasonable balance of defense to offense and it can throw that off hardcore. Ouch. And we're about to take a lot more damage as well. Not what I wanted. Really wanted Survivor there so that I could start doing some more defensive stuff. Another Cloak and Dagger, another defensive card. We do actually have a reason to take Bag of Marbles here, and that's because we have the opening of Backstab. I'm going to take a dodge and roll and a backflip. I'm literally just trying to stack my deck with as much defense as I can get right now. Because I've got three elites. Like, there was no way on any of these paths... Look at this. There's no way on any of these paths I was going to get away from having to fight an elite. Alright. First upgrade is actually going to have to be on neutralize. It's damage prevention. It's going to be important for us. Shame that I can't take this backstab, but... We'll live, hopefully. Hopefully this episode will uh, prove a lesson to some people who are very consistent about, hey, you should play the fun builds. It's time to get all of the transform your stuff and things. And that's, I'm probably almost dead now. Thanks to doing that. More defense. More defense. More defense. And we're dead. Yep, no play there was going to save me. All right, rest in peace, me. That's fine, we got to the second floor. So, something amazing happened, and then I tried to push my luck uh, in a way that commenters have consistently wanted me to do, and then we got completely killed for it. So, that's not fun. So, guess what we're not going to be doing? Transforming cards. Random common relic couldn't be that bad. Okay, I actually quite like Ancient T-Set. Ancient T said, of course, is whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy. Neutralize. We actually need to get a lot of damage in early, so I'm going to accept one damage here, just so that I can use an extra strike. Defense strike. Beautiful. Hang on. One second. Just one quick second here as I make sure... Beautiful. I do have the space to record this onto my drive. I've lost so many runs recently by trying to record to a drive that was just running out of space and ended up full halfway through the uh, run. And it's been sad. I lost some really cool stuff due to that. I actually had a run where I asked for a random boss relic at the start with a silent... I got three curses, two of them were clumsy, and one of the... Take a dagger spray there. And one of the... Relics that I got was Doo Voodoo. I'm just gonna pass this turn, pretty much. Hey, we still got Survivor in there, which is good. Defense, Survivor, Dagger Spray for six. Okay. 
Beautiful. Every hand so far has left us completely defended and allowed us to tread water, which is lovely. We're getting close to a range where we'd be able to just extend for lethal. We're not going to be weakened next turn, so two strikes kills. I'm going to take a second Dagger Spray, and that's all of my AoE accounted for now. Alright, Noxious Fumes. It's a good pick up there. Time to get you a Curse. So we got the Spirit Poop. The Spirit Poop does nothing. It just gives you one negative to your score. Especially since we have a Toxic Fumes now. God, I hate they both attack on the first turn. There's nothing I could have really done about that. Um, especially since we have a Noxious Fumes now, we're going to go for a lot of Elites this floor. And we've got double dagger spray. In fact, we've got like a lot of support for going for a lot of elites. Actually gonna throw an explosive potion here. Because now I can just double defend and save a lot of HP. Good, good. Expertise is a great card, but we don't... Do we need it? Yeah. It gets better later. It's not good right now, though. Gremlin Knob. Not a great thing to see. We'll start a regen potion, because we are going to be here for a while since we don't have the big, 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 bigs. That is to say, big hits. Mmm, no, we're being weakened on the third uh, turn. That is rough. Hopefully we get a weaken now. Yep, we got a neutralize. Also going to double defend. And we've got the kill this turn. Beautiful. Woo! Sundial, every three times you shuffle your deck, gain two energy. And backstab to open up fights. Only because we have Sundial, I'm actually going to choose here to remove a card rather than upgrade one of my cards. I really want to fight another Elite. Let's be safe. Let's be safe. Upgrade Noxious Fumes. Next Elite, we're going to start with an extra to energy. Dead Branch. If we just don't pick up much exhaust in this build, we can just use that to put an extra card in our deck. I don't like Dead Branch. I've made no secret of that. Uh, if you think I've made a secret of that, you need to go back to thinking school and take some remedial lessons because I have been super clear. Uh, four by seven is 28. We've not got lethal with that. Damn. Let's use double defense and then expertise. Okay. But I don't like Dead Branch because it puts things in your deck that you don't oftentimes want there. Or rather, to say that correctly, that you oftentimes don't want there. There we go. I'm fine to have a Skewer in this deck. Skewer is actually quite nice. Adrenaline is great. Finisher is eh. Catalyst is eh. My god, how many mosquitoes want to be in this room right now? Jeez! Sorry about the sound of the spray, but... It's either that, or I've become the world's lumpiest man. Don't say I am already, please. For the sake of my ego. My fledgling, fledgling ego. Right, let's just kill you.
It especially becomes apparent that you don't want these extra cards in the late game when they're not upgraded and that starts costing you. Toxic Egg, whenever you have a skill card to your deck, upgrade it. We're going to upgrade a backflip, immediately put it in our deck. Give me Relic. Money, sure. It's going to be less money than it typically is. Did that give me any money? It didn't even say. And I also didn't look at the screen. Where it would have showed me if it gave me money. Uh, crumbs. I'm going to accept 14 damage here because over the course of the fight, I think that will prevent me from taking that much more. God, I hope I get some defense cards here. All right, well, we've got a rest coming up then. Jeez. Damn, Slaver. It's a regen potion. Great pickup. Kind of want to take a dash. It's a lot of defensiveness that we're going to need. I'll take the rest here. Now, this is an unfavorable event. If I say leave, she's going to punch me. And I'm actually going to lose HP as a result of it. So I'm going to buy one potion. And here again, I'm going to rest. I really wish that I could have taken the option to upgrade a AoE, though. Because those do need to be upgraded right now. Corpse Explosion is going to be just pretty much horrible for us, so... Not particularly pleased about that. Okay, we get a bunch of extra energy this turn that we can't really use on anything. Whee! Turn after I really would have liked it. Flip. Drop another defense, and we're fine now. We just need to continually try and draw through the entire deck wherever possible. He got that 20 block there. Triple block here. We take one damage, but the enemy... Like, we can stall and do stuff like that now. Take five damage this turn. Because the enemy is poisoned. So they are just going to eventually keel over. I did want to use my draw every single time it was available, but... Up a bunch of extra energy there. Awesome. Sundial plus the expertise is going to be a really, really handy way of uh, just cheating energy out of nowhere. Oh. I miscalculated that. Took a lot more damage there than I needed to. After image? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, calling bell. Hello, Pandora's box. Fuck both y'all. We're going with Sozu. There is no way you can make me take either of those that just completely ass blasted us before. All right. Kind of do want to shop early, but I don't know if I want to shop that. 
that early. You know what? I guess I do. Flip through. There we go. Noxious Fumes is a great pickup there. Should always remember to use my backflip first. Uh, backflip. My uh, stab stab. Obviously, you know what I mean by stab stab. How could you not? It's such a clear phrasing. Uh, I should use my exhausting cards first so that I can see what I pick up from them. I'm going to put a single copy of Bane in this deck. Just because it's a lot of damage when the enemy is poisoned. And the enemies are going to be poisoned. Let's back that first. Eh. Ooh, after image. Nice. God damn it, Dead Branch. Don't make me rethink your value. I've had to do enough thinking today. Oh, the, the double hit just happened instantly there. Okay. I was wondering, why didn't it do its second hit? But we're in fast mode, so the double hit actually doesn't... Okay. Short. And... Enemy's dead. Just leave it to die. Out of those, we probably want Flying Me. This is rough. These are all really good. So if we took Paper Crane, we would also take Sucker Punch and we would start trying to weaken the ever-loving Hells out... Uh, Hells? Hell, rather, out of enemies. We don't have any discard in our deck yet, but if we took tough bandages, then there's a couple things that would just immediately win us the game. Okay, we're going to take tough bandages. And I'm actually not going to spend any more money because we've got another shop up here and we might actually be able to buy a low-level trinket from it. I don't think there's anything I want to set up here. Ow. Alright, let's backflip. Strike, then neutralize to break the three block that they put up. Dagger spray, and then we can go to double block completely protect ourselves. 18 block and we did exactly as much damage as we possibly could have done that turn. After image noxious, normal strength, and a dagger spray. Alright, I'm going to set up that defend, then expertise. The zero cost defend in there. Well done. That's really unfortunate. We didn't find any other defending cards, so we just have to take a bunch of damage here. Well, we have to take 16. That's... To me, that's a bunch. All right. And enemy is dead of poison. Or rather, would have been. Uh, Toxic Egg means that taking backflip will upgrade it, and we do want to dig through our deck because we have the Sundial. Speaking of upgrading cards, we can take Panacea and it'll upgrade itself immediately as well. I really want to do that. Yeah, I'm doing it. I really would have liked to take the Gambling Chip, but it wasn't available. Uh, regen Potion I would buy, but we've got Sozu, so we can't actually use potions. Ah. 
I want to make sure that I go to the side that hasn't camped before the elite so that I have the bonus of the ancient tea set giving us two extra energy for the first turn going into the fight. And here I'm just going to take a rest. I really don't know how we're going to perform against elites on this floor. Right. Kind of seal, get us a slice. It's not bad. Noxious fumes and dagger spray are always happening. And I am going to be playing out my hand, so I'll be completely protected anyway. I made a mistake there, and I've only just realized it. By not killing any of those enemies, I guaranteed that the gremlin leader was going to be trying to attack on that turn. It's my bad. I could have mitigated that. I could have played around that. As much as I do want to use my draw every single turn that's available to get down to my sundial, at the moment, I think it's more important. Ooh, this sucks. This sucks a lot. This, this sucks the big one. I'm just going to have to kill one of them and hope that the gremlin leader decides not to attack this turn. Nope. Decided to attack. Alright. There's a weaken on you. 30 damage incoming. Backflip. Defense. Defense. I can dagger spray to kill the frontliner. Still gonna take 7 damage, but hell, that's, that's a lot less than I thought I was gonna be taking. We do want to backflip every time it's available. Two stabs is more damage than a single dash. We might now just be able to go for the Gremlin Leader. 20 damage? Yeah, we've got it. Beautiful. Goodbye forever. Runic to Decahedron. If your HP is full, not going to be, gain energy at the start of each turn. And there's the acrobatics that we've been desperately looking for. Because it's now draw three cards, discard one card, gain three block, courtesy of the tough bandages. Whenever you discard a card during your turn, gain three block. Uh, but it also upgrades itself. And it allows us to dig through our deck a lot faster so that we can activate the Sundial more often. We could easily just die in this fight, unfortunately. Quite glad to have this block potion, but unfortunately... As soon as I started saying that sentence, I realized I can't use it. Panacea is really good. Turn late, but really good. Uh, Sucker Punch here is going to make sure that you are weakened next turn as well. Panacea is really good because now I don't have to worry about being hit with vulnerability and then that resulting in my death. I've gotten a lot of respect for Panacea recently. I believe Panacea just means cure-all as well. Um, I've got a lot of respect for it recently. It's just doing a lot of work in the runs in which I take it. Especially when it's like a flex-based... Calculated Gamble. Oh, yes. That Calculated Gamble is discard your whole hand, gain three block for each, and then draw a new hand, which is insane. It also immediately upgraded as soon as I picked it up, which allows me to discard my hand, draw that many cards. Uh, but the best thing about it is it's also digging us towards this sundial. We're going to take every single calculated gamble that we can see. Singing Bowl, when adding cards to your deck, you may choose to add two max HP instead. Okay, it's bullet time. Hell yeah. This hand actually doesn't have that much damage in it, so bullet timing here isn't going to be that good. So instead, I'm going to calculate a gamble, completely protect myself, get myself an entirely new hand. Okay, I've got an expertise in my next hand. I need to upgrade that, though. Ouch. Okay, we're going to take 10 damage here. I'm not, not particularly pleased about that all. Okay. 
defend. Bane, Dagger Spray, Strike. Expertise for a full hand. If I Predator, then I can actually just calculate a gamble immediately following it and be completely protected. Beautiful. Let's backflip. Backflip again. 28 incoming damage, so a single dash saves me. Backflip again. There's a neutralize, great pickup. And a flying knee for the extra energy next turn. I'm looking to try and get Calculated Gamble in basically all of my hands where available. Stocks are limited, so I need to make sure that I have it available. Oh, uh, baby. Uh, don't drop a defensive card. Don't drop a defensive card. Don't drop a defensive card, right? Uh, five, five. Oh, fuck. All right, I have to drop pretty much anything and then just Calculate a Gamble. Because I won't have enough block without that. So there's our defense covered. Just. Bag of marbles. At the start of each combat, apply one vulnerability to wall enemies. That's really good for us. Take two max HP here, which is also two current HP for us. Uh, if we read this book, we're going to die reading it. So we're going to have to leave, unfortunately. Go over to this camp and rest. I'm not being attacked on the first turn, so I will just backstab first. Mm, reflex. We're obviously going to Noxious Fumes and Dagger Spray. I don't want to expertise and draw into the Calculated Gamble that I want to have later. Managed to fully block that turn, and we've still got the Calculated Gambler in our deck. Beautiful. Double draw, double draw. We'll take a Panacea. Distraction exhausts itself. Cloak and Dagger. Shiv, which exhausts itself, gives me another card. Uh, and now I'll Blur, then just Calculated Gamble for an entirely new hand. And I get to keep that uh, defense for the next turn. Hell yeah. And with Blur, I get to keep it gain. Beautiful. This Dead Branch has been working quite well for me. As much as I hate Dead Branch, it's been doing it well right now. That said, for every, you know, performance where Dead Branch works, I've seen equally as many, or if not more, uh, where it's completely boned me. I like that it's trying to apologize right now, though. This is a really good opening hand. Stab. Ooh, Nightmare. Oh, I have to. Well, Nightmare to calculate a gamble, and this deck is now broken. Because now I'm going to have basically a calculated gamble every turn. Acrobatics, and then I'm going to just calculate a gamble. We do need to get the Noxious Fumes down. There's calculate a gamble. And now that I'm fully defended, I'll double strike. Probably should have calculated gambles at the end there. Mm, that would have been good. All right, let's outmaneuver. Dagger spray, dagger spray, strike. Get as much damage as we can. Mmm, extremely not good. At the very least, we're not going to take any of these weaknesses that are being thrown against us. We defended entirely against both. Can I go to gamble, please? Can I go to gamble? Can I go to gamble? No? Uh, all right, without giving us calculated gamble, we might just be dead.
There's four calculated gambles in there. This prevents nine damage to kill you. And then I just die to the uh, criminal leader. Come on! We needed calculated gamble there. We just desperately needed it. The other option, if I wanted to rely on only calculated gamble, would have been play out my entire hand, then expertise, and try and draw as much as possible. I would only have zero to play, so I would desperately be reliant on picking up a calculated gamble. That episode may not have ended in success, but it was wacky as shit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this one here. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slade the Spire. That has been an attempt at silent uh, ascension level 15. It's rough. But we'll succeed. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time, Michaela.